The 2021 Giants season has come to a close. I'm Madeline Burke, joined by Giants cornerback James Bradbury. James, thanks for taking the time today. Obviously, the season didn't go the way this team would have hoped, but as you look back on this year, what's one thing that's going to stand out about this season? Um, I think just guys' attitude. Um, like every day, it was practice, meetings, um, film session. Uh, just keeping our attitude positive throughout the whole time. You know, we had a rough season, and typically you see guys start to, um, you know, start to point fingers, um, have bad attitudes toward the game itself. Uh, but we kept our attitudes positive, and we kept fighting towards the end. That is such a unique situation for a locker room to stay together through the adversity you guys faced. Why was that, or what do you attribute that to? Um, I think we just respected, you know, how, how hard everyone worked. We're all out there. Uh, putting in the same amount of effort. We all see how much guys put in toward um, outside of practice, how much effort they put in uh, as far as watching film and taking care of their body. Uh, so we knew the effort was there, you know, just wasn't coming together at the end of the day. Um, it's not because we didn't want it. Yeah. And I mean, going through a season like this, you guys have had, you know, a lot of injuries, a lot of adversity. What did you learn about yourself this year? You know, it's just tough playing in the NFL all together. You know, you got to be very disciplined uh, when it comes to like your nutrition and also taking care of your body. Um, I just tried to make sure every day, you know, I was trying to put forth the best effort to be a good football player. Mm -hmm. um, and I think what I learned about myself was, you know, um, I should do it like year round. You know, I should um, keep a routine going into the off season and that it helped me going into next year. Okay. Is there any like changes you made to your diet or any things that you decided, okay, I'm going to do this more or less? Um, I just worked out more, I feel like. Yeah. Um, just fine tune some things. I uh, just try to make sure I always stayed on my nutrition. Nutrition was number one for me. so. If I stayed good with my diet, everything else kind of fell in line. Yeah. Um, so that's where it started. I feel like I did a good job of that, but the kitchen staff here, you know, they do a great job uh, helping us out. They cook it up. They do a really good job in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, you walk by there, it always smells real nice. It feels like they got a good variety and all that too. Um, you know, when you look back to it this year, the defense was really the strongest point of this team. You're one of the veterans in that unit. How did this defense continue week in, week out to be able to you know, adjust to the varying opponents? Uh, we just kept working. Yeah. Um, and then we had open lines of communication. You know, we, we had open lines to talk to the DC. Uh, you know, our captains, Logan Ryan and uh, Blake and myself, uh, we'd always watch film. Not to say we'd watch it together, but we'd always watch film and kind of give our ideas and input into the game mm -hmm. and what we thought would be the best situation. And I think that's why we was able to adapt, you know, week in and week out. Going into the off season, uh, how do you plan to take care of yourself? I mean, you mentioned kind of maintaining your, your fitness and your lifestyle choices throughout the whole year, but do you want to take some time for you? Or are you going to kind of stay in the gym? How do you, how do you approach the off season? Uh, I'm going to try to do a, have a good mixture of both, mm -hmm. you know, try to keep a good stretch routine, try to stay on my nutritional diet as much as I can. Yeah. You know, of course, I'm from the South, so we love fried food <laughs> and sugar. Got to so, have a balance, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm trying to balance it out, you know, um, so, Try to make sure I do that and also work out probably three times a week and then kind of increase it as I get closer to OTAs and in the season. In years past, I know some of the DBs have gotten together outside of things. I know some of the players on this team have gotten together. Have you guys planned anything yet? Have you talked about getting together in the off season? Um, it's kind of early on, yeah. uh, but it's always open yeah. uh, topic of discussion, especially after OTAs, yeah. right before training camp gets here. That's when guys like to get together because mm -hmm. um, that's when the chemistry and stuff, you really need to start building that going into the season. Uh, but early part of OTAs, we're probably just going to all relax, uh, kind of go our separate ways. We're going to still keep in contact, you know, through group texts and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's about it. Keep the group texts going. That's important. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's the way we communicate nowadays. Yeah. And we also play video games, too. Oh, that's so true. So a, a lot of my uh, teammates What's play Call of Duty. Call of Duty? Okay. Who's the biggest uh, opponent? Who's the biggest challenge to play in that game? Uh, I think X. Xavier really? McKinney he plays the most. Okay. I think he's probably the best in the, in the, in the building. All right. Looking forward to asking him about that, too. We'll break that down. <laughs> James Bradbury, thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you.